everyone! I hope you guys are doing great. So I am going to show you my friends and family um, haul from Sephora. So the first thing I got was a Shuamora eyelash curler, which I have been trying out and I've been really, really loving it. It really works really great to get really close to your lashes and really give them a really nice boost. And yeah, I've been really loving it. It came with a replacement, which is great. Um, and then something I'm super excited about. Um, if you've been watching my videos for some time, you know that I love this product. Um, I've tried it and I've been waiting to use up my other primers so that I could purchase this. And, well, I saw this kind of package and I had to get it. So, I got the Box of Primers by Urban Decay. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love everything in here. It's amazing. It's an amazing price. Um, so, I'll kind of just go through what all comes with it. The packaging is super cute. It's purple. Um, so the first thing I got was the Urban Decay Complexion Primer Potion and Pore Perfecting, which is great. I've actually tried this before um, in a little sample and I loved it. Um, so I love this product. I have been using it and it's amazing. It makes your makeup stay on like all day which is fantastic. Um, the packaging is really cute. Um, at the top you kind of have to hold the bottom and then twist up and then you squeeze and the product comes out. And this is the the consistency of the Urban Decay Complexion Primer Potion is, is fairly lotion-y so that's kind of what it's like and I absolutely love it. Um, and then I got the Urban Decay Complexion um, Primer Potion in Brightening and this is a lot thinner. It's more kind of like a gel based. Um, I'll kind of show the consistency here. Again, with the screw top. And then that's what it looks like. And I don't really know if it really brightens up your face, but um, it works amazing as a primer. I think I even like brightening better than um, the, the pore perfecting only because of the consistency. Um, it's just really, really nice. It soaks in your skin and then you can't feel it like, and you can't even feel it on. It's amazing. I absolutely love, love, love Urban Decay and I love, love, love their primers. I know I said love a lot. Um, I really do love their primers. They're amazing. So super happy. It was an amazing deal. I also got Lip Primer Potion, which I have used. And it has a very familiar scent, like some kind of Dan Danish, I don't know. It's a nice scent, it's not a horrible scent or anything, it smells really, really yummy. Um, I have tried this and it's really nice as a, prime, as a lip primer. Um, it has a little bit of a color to it. I'll kind of show you Gah, what I had. I have fairly pigmented lips, so this is kind of nice to slowly um, take away some of that pigmentation. And then I'm going to take Viva Glam 5. And put it right on top. Anyways, the lip primer works amazingly. I don't wear lipsticks too often, but when I do, I use this primer and it's amazing. I personally would not repurchase it just because I'm not a huge lip person, but things may change, but it is great. And then, of course, I got the um, Urban Decay Shad Eyeshadow um, Primer Potion, which you all know is amazing. It really does do an amazing job. It keeps the vibrancy of all the colors, and it just works really well. So I'm really loving this. I still love my paint pots. They'll still be number one in my heart. But um, the primer is actually pretty amazing, um, so it's nice if you're on the go and you really don't want to sit and think, okay, which paint pot do I use for my lid and whatnot. This is really, really great. The one thing I do not like about the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Pr Primer Potion is the packaging. The packaging itself is really cute and really adorable. However, when you take out the wand and you have to put it back in to get some more um, product to apply it and of course bacteria from the air and stuff get inside but also one thing that I don't like is when you put it back in it shoves air kind of up 
and then the product comes to the top and kind of spills out, which I really, really don't like that, especially since you're wasting product. So I'm kind of sad about the packaging of this, but it's an amazing product, definitely worth the money, love it. And then I also tried the eyeshadow primer potion, which works amazingly. I love this um, eye or eyeshadow. I love this eyelash primer. The only thing is that it takes out the curl from your lashes. If you're Asian or have really straight lashes and have to curl your lashes like I do, um, this will not hold your curl in. So you have to like re-curl your lashes afterwards, which is a real bummer. Um, but yeah, other than that, I love this um, eyelash primer. Again, a lot of these things I would not purchase again. The things that I would purchase again are definitely both of the um, primers, the face primers. Love them so much. Um, and then obviously the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer because it is amazing. Um, as far as the lip and the lash primer, not so much. But it's great to come in this kit. It was a great, great value. You can find it at Sephora.com. Yeah, I love it so much. So then the next thing that I got that I was super excited about, um, on my trip to San Francisco, I had some magazines, and in there, um, there was a perfume scent. Now, if you guys have been following me, I don't have a big perfume collection. If not, it consists of one. Um, so I wanted to try a new perfume, and I smelled this perfume, and oh my gosh, I was like, I have to get it. So when I got back, I definitely checked it out, and I got it. So the scent that I got is Miss Dior Cherie Leu, it's by Dior, and I love, 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 love this scent. So first off, the packaging is super cute. It has really nice houndstooth on like a light pink, and this is like a green. Really cute. And then the bottle is super cute as well. It's kind of a square bottle. And on the bottom, it has etched hound's tooth. How cute is that? I love that. Um, and then up here, it has a nice little bow. It's really cute. And oh, the smell of it is so... It's like fresh and clean and like citrus, slight citrus, not full-on citrus. Um, floral. It's just a really, really, really pretty scent. And I have smelt Miss Dior Cherie, which I did not care for um, at all. But I, what I've heard in a lot of reviews is people who like the Miss Dior Cherie do not like the Miss Dior Cherie Leu. And people who like the Miss Dior Cherie Leu did not like the Miss Dior Cherie. I love it. I've been wearing it like every day. It's, it's amazing. It is fairly strong, even though it's light. If that makes any sense, so a little bit goes a long ways, but I love it. And yeah, that is everything that I hauled at Sephora. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!